Welcome, everybody, to before updating to NX 1872, what you need to know. I am going to do a quick sound check. Can you hear me? So you should see a button, a raise your hand on the left-hand side of your panel. If you could just click that, please. To... Okay. I see him coming in, so thank you. Um, today we're going to present uh, some some information about when you update for to NX72, what to expect. So there's some unexpected items coming up, and we thought it important enough to share those with uh, what's coming in for support and also what we're seeing internally. So today's agenda is um, we're going to run through what's in the 1872 release and why sometimes you may see actually errors when you do an update uh, to this release and talk a little bit about compatibility and um, finally how to run uh, 1846 uh, and 1872 concurrently. So after this webinar, um, you may have some further on questions or thoughts how to proceed. Uh, we will have Q&A if those questions do come up during the webinar, please go ahead and type them in your chat box to share, but we will address them uh, all at the end of the webinar. And for those ones where we don't know the answer right away, we will get the answer to you uh, uh, very, fairly quickly. This webinar will be recorded. So uh, for those who couldn't attend uh, or, or from your groups, you can uh, forward it to uh, of them after it's shared with you. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Reese Shearer. Reese. Thanks, Dan. Uh, hopefully, you, everybody can hear me again. If you would, go ahead and just raise your hands real quick, as long as I get a few. Awesome. Um, again, if, if you lose audio, you do have a PIN number down at the bottom of the GoToWebinar uh, dialog box. Go ahead and dial in and just enter that PIN, and you'll be able to hear me talk about some of the things that are happening with 1872. So just to give you a little idea about 1872, I know some people are still on NX12. That was the last uh, version and revision that you'll see when you install NX up at the top of the uh, display, it'll say NX12. So with the continuous uh, roadmap that they're rolling out with the uh, channel, NX, when you start it, it just says NX and then um, if you have to figure out what version you're on, you'll go to the help menu to, to take a look at that. So that started in uh, the beginning of this year. And we just recently saw a new version come out, 1872, which was at the beginning of July, end of June. Um, depending on who, who downloaded and installed it, you might have run into some issues. So with the continuous uh, release update model, there was really supposed to be only be one um, release. So you're just going to keep seeing NX. You'll get the little um, button in the top right corner of NX saying your, your session's out of date. Please download, do the installation. And that's the process for the continuous release. Um, so every six months, they'll come out with a um, breakpoint sort of similar to like NX12. I'm sorry, we'll, we'll do that again. NX10, NX11, NX12. And then you have all the different patches in between and different versions that way. And then as you move along in that six months, you get those um, uh, patches. And that's pretty similar to how the channel is working. Um, they do do some te testing. I think they may have missed a, a point uh, for this last 1872. And um, that gets rolled into the actually 1872 release. So their whole idea at that point, which we uh, sort of thought they were going down is it's just going to be continuous release. You wouldn't have any sort of issues, but we found um, some speed bumps here that um, are, are really causing some issues. So 1872 was supposed to make things faster. You stayed within that channel. You didn't have to go down and install a full version of NX. Um, 1872, you, you have to. So if you pay attention to the top right corner of your uh, NX display, it'll give you a, a red button or light or whatever you want to call that. Um, you would at that point, go ahead and download that new version. You'll get a couple different lights saying it's doing its download. Once it's download, 
you'll get a, another um, button that'll say it's ready to install, and then you go ahead and install it. Um, for the 1872, that wasn't the case. So we um, sort of had a, a, a breakdown in, in the channel, and the way it's, it's going to work is 1874, um, it's supposed to be seamless for all the, of that particular series. And then 1872 rolls out, so it's going to be another series. Again, it's really reflecting back to an X11 going to X, an X12. You had to do a full download to install it. If you do have 1847 installed, you will get continuous releases up until 1867, and then it, that that's the last um, last one in that series, that sort of like a patch, if you want to think about it that way. Um, so once you get it installed, you may start getting some error messages saying that your um, session is now out of the channel, the main channel. You can see that here in this, this uh, icon. It doesn't matter how you switch it in your customer defaults to not notify me, it's still going to be there. And it's going to, if you hover your mouse over top of that green, or I'm sorry, gray light, this is the message that you're going to see. So 1872 really fell out of that whole continuous process. So it's just another series um, as far as we see it. Again, with the uh, 1867.4100, you had to do a full install, at least I did on my machine, in order for it to um, actually do the installation. I wasn't able to do the automatic click on the the button in the top right corner of the display and have it download and install. It just didn't work for me. So that's where we started seeing the issues at that point. So how do you go ahead and update 1872? Go out to Siemens website or you can contact us and we can send you a link to, to download it and install it. Um, some, of the, some of the gotchas for that new 1872, um, if you install 1872 and decide I'm going to revert back to 1847, it's going to write it right back on top of your um, Windows apps. So, you know, you start your Windows, you go over to your apps, you scroll down to NX, it says Siemens NX. If it was 1872 and you decided to install 1847 or something in that series, it rewrites everything into that um, that that um, rolled out folder. So something to think about as you're doing your installations you may not want to do that or find a way to create um, shortcuts on your desktop for the particular version again we've also seen um, doing the, the download of just the software off of, off of siemens website if you download 1872 it comes with a license server uh, 9.1 i was not able to use the current 1872 license with that server so i had to go out and get the license server that they just released at the beginning of july for 10. and i had once i installed that making sure my license actually said 1872 on it i was able to get that installed and running it up and going again and then they had mentioned that it was going to be backward compatible meaning that you could open an 1872 file create it save it and go back to 1847 something in that that series and open it it doesn't work so that those wheels fall off that bus <laughs> We've also noticed there's some gotchas with um, parasolids. If for 1847, you can export it out, open it in 10, 11, 12, and it works fine. But then you get to 1872, and some of the issues you have is you can export it out to um, an X10 and 11, and it opens successfully or imports it. But if you export a 12 and try to import it into 12 or open it within 12, it doesn't work. So. Those are some of the gotchas. We haven't really tested uh, much more past that point. Uh, just some things to be aware of as you're um, working with 1872. Also, um, because the icon is overwritten inside of your um, Windows Start apps, you, you do get a Siemens um, NX launcher that does come with the software. So you'll have to do a separate installation for that. And there's some notes that you'll find inside the installation documents within the 1872, and it'll describe how you can set this up. So I set this up just recently. I was able to get 1872, 1847, 
and an X12 to run on it, but I'm not able to get 11, 10, or anything lower than that. So um, I'm not sure with that. I'm, I'm talking with Siemens to see why that doesn't work for those uh, versions. So those are some of the things you want to be aware of too. Um, if you're just running 12 and anything newer, you're going to be perfectly fine. Again, um, you can set that up and there's uh, a link there to, to go out to Siemens website for that document. I got through that pretty quickly. So at that point, does anybody have any questions that you uh, have for an X? Everybody seems um, pretty clear with that. So it gets, it's got some uh, it's got some issues, and uh, we've we've worked through a few of them, but I'm sure there may be others out there that we have not seen. Okay, thank you, Reese. Um, at this time, I don't see any questions, but uh, by all means, if you do have questions, um, definitely uh, you can email us. I don't know if you can advance to the next side, uh, slide, Reese. There you go. There's our contact information. So um, by all means, uh, reach out to us if you, you, know, if you, you know, any questions at all, but we will send this replay out. And... Um, we hope it is uh, beneficial to everybody for limiting those uh, unpleasant surprises. So thank you for joining us and have a great day. Bye-bye.